Hey guys, welcome back to iSchool Connect. Every week, we come up with something interesting around overseas education just to help all of you with everything that you need to know that will help you with your studying abroad dreams. So today I thought we'll talk about one of the most famous universities and that is University of California, Berkeley. So did you know that UC Berkeley was named as the number one public university in the world liberal, challenging, and fun. That's how we describe UC Berkeley and one of the best universities in the world. What is the university rank? Does it have the program I need? And most importantly, am I eligible to apply for this university? Are some of the many questions that students ask us while they're applying uh, to study abroad. Well, if you're thinking of applying to UC Berkeley, you've come to the right place because we're going to answer all these questions. Consistently regarded as one of the top universities in USA, especially for its arts and science programs, UC Berkeley is ranked high on every list for almost all programs that it offers. Today, we will be talking about everything that you need to know about studying and pursuing a career from University of California, Berkeley. So to begin with, uh, we will be talking about the ranking and acceptance at UC Berkeley. The University of California, Berkeley is a highly renowned and popular institution, ranking 28th among the top 30 universities in the world. Many students ask us, how hard is it to make it to UC Berkeley? Given its reputation and caliber, admissions at UC Berkeley are pretty competitive and that means that their acceptance rate is just 15%. You know what's really nice though? While assessing applications, UC Ber uh, Berkeley reviews each application in its entirety, word by word, page by page. We literally hug your application, says their admissions page, and I think that's super cute. At number two, we're going to discuss about admission requirements. Now for the big question, are you eligible to get into the University of California, Berkeley? Let's find that out right away. Here are some of the most important parameters that students need to check before they apply. The parameters that apply to you will depend, of course, on the kind of program you choose. Number one is GPA, which is of course universal. The approximate GPA required for undergraduate programs is at about 3.89 out of 4. And for postgraduate programs, we're looking at a good 3 out of 4. For GRE, uh, while the university doesn't have any specific uh, minimum GRE or GMAT requirements, the average GRE score is at about 332. For TOEFL, uh, we are looking at a score of about 570 on the paper-based test. Uh, we're looking at 230 on the computer-based test and about 90 on the internet-based test. In terms of the IELTS test uh, scores, we're looking at at least 7 out of 9. And the good thing is that they do not look for any minimum scores for individual bands. Next is GMAT. Just like I mentioned, UC Berkeley doesn't have any GRE or GMAT uh, minimum score requirements, but we've noticed that the average score of the you know, uh, applications which do get filtered in is a good 726 out of 800. But it's important uh, to keep in mind that students must have good scores to make it to this amazing university. Next, we will talk about SAT and ACT. To apply for undergraduate programs, students must have a SAT score of at least 1,350 uh, to 1,500 uh, out of 1,600. And for ACT scores, the score should be at least between 30 to 35. At number three, we will be discussing about the programs at Berkeley. Now, did you know that 90% of the programs at UC Berkeley rank among the top 10 uh, programs available worldwide? While all programs at UC Berkeley are exceptional, it is actually really famous for some programs. And they are social science, engineering, biological and biomedical sciences, and all these programs. UCB also has an amazing teaching faculty of over 1,500 professors, out of which eight of them are Nobel Prize winners. At number four, we will be discussing tuition fees and other expenses. 
Now, I know this is a deciding factor for a lot of you guys, and of course, this is very crucial. Now, how much does it really cost to study at UCB? Well, I've tried to list down all the major costs that you will be incurring, and this is how it goes. The application fees for UCB students is usually around $80, uh, and that's for undergrad uh, programs. For postgrad programs, you'll, you'll have to pay somewhere around $140 uh, USD. Next, we have the tuition fees. Now, given the diverse programs offered at UC Berkeley, the tuition fees for each of the programs varies greatly. Not only that, the tuition fees for undergraduate and graduate programs also vary vastly. Now, the UC Berkeley tuition fees is as follows. The undergraduate programs would cost you somewhere around $23,000, and the graduate programs could cost you anywhere between $17,000 to $34,000. Next, you will be paying for the accommodation, the food, books, supplies, and all those generic personal things, uh, you know, expenses that will come up. The average cost of living uh, in or around UCB would be about $2,100 per month. Having mentioned all of that, don't be boggled down by all these costs because you can always try for a financial aid or a scholarship. While UCB doesn't offer any financial aid uh, to international students, you could definitely explore grants or financial loans which would come from other organizations. Next, we're going to talk about UCB's return on investment. Now, while we just spoke about all these important numbers, it's incomplete if we don't talk about the ROI that you're going to gain out of studying at this college. About 80% of the students at this university would graduate with a job which will pay them way higher than what they were earning before. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, for example, if you were earning over $70,000 per annum before, work, before studying at UCB, you would now be earning on an average $1,25,000 or upwards if you've been passed out or if you've passed out of UCB. I think that's brilliant ROI. And if that doesn't make a, you know, if that doesn't act as a deciding factor, then I don't know what will. Next up, we're going to talk about social life at UCB. Keeping all the heavy stuff aside, social life is absolutely amazing at UCB, just as expected. Sports, art, music, drama, food, dance, you name it and you have it right there. There's never a time which is dull and boring at the campus. There's always something for you to participate in. UCB is home to over 35,000 students from all over the world. And that literally means that cultural diversity is at its best at the campus. The UC Berkeley campus also celebrates several cultural festivals, be it Diwali, Holi, the Chinese New Year, and all those amazing things which you feel that you'll miss home for. Now is a big question, right? What are your chances of making it to UC Berkeley? To be honest, there isn't really a way to answer that. After hearing everything that we've mentioned earlier, I hope you understand that getting into UCB is not as easy as it may seem. Take note that apart from your school scores, your statement of purpose, letter of recommendation, the essays, portfolios, everything, there's so much more that needs to be put together while you're applying to the university. If you are looking at pursuing your higher education abroad, at UCB or anywhere else, you can always reach out to us at iSchool Connect. After all, it's important to get in touch with the best education counselors around you to know more about the right strategy to carve your way to the university. iSchool Connect offers overseas education consulting to students around the globe. From applying to your preferred university to finding scholarships and accommodation, we help you through the entire process. You can visit our website or contact us on our social media handles, all of which are mentioned either on the screen right now or in the description. We make interesting videos around overseas education every week and I really hope that you watch them and make use of them. I think they're tagged somewhere here or here. Uh, you can find them for sure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our content. Until next time, this is Malvika signing off. I hope you have a great day ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.